Hello my friends and welcome to another video. Silverhawks is an American animated television series developed by Rankin Bass Productions and distributed by Laura Martella Pictures in 1986. The animation was provided by Japanese studio Pacific Animation Corporation. In total, 65 episodes were made. Join me. And together we will review the world of Silver Hawks, and near the end of the video we will talk about some rare variants of this amazing toy line. A bionic policeman called Commander Stargazer recruited the Silver Hawks, heroes who are partly metal, partly real, to fight the evil Monstar. He is an alien mob boss who transforms into an enormous armor-plated creature with the help of Limbo's Moon Star. Joining Monstar in his villainy is an intergalactic mob. The snake-like Yes Man, the blade-armed Buzzsaw, the bull-headed Mumbo Jumbo, a weather controller called Windhammer, a shapeshifter known as Molecular, a robotic card shark called Poker Face, the weapon's heavy hardware and the musical madness of Melodia who uses a guitar that fires musical notes. Quicksilver leads the Silver Hawks, with his metal bird companion Tally Hawk at his side. Twins Emily and Will Hart became Steel Heart and Steel Will, the Silver Hawks is technician and strong man respectively. Country singing Bluegrass piloted the team's ship, the Mirage. Rounding out the group is a youngster from the planet of the Mims, named the Copper Kid a mathematical genius who spoke in whistles and computerized tones. Their bionic bodies are covered by full-body close-fitting metal armor that only exposes the face and an arm, thrusters on their heels, and laser weapons in their shoulders. Awesome story, don't you think? Before we dive into the toy line please be sure to hit that subscribe button, we upload toy videos weekly in this channel. You can also follow and support us in many ways. Now let's explore the amazing line of toys. The Silver Hawks action figure collection based on the animated series was produced by Kenner and first released in 1987. LJN, the makers of the Thundercats figures, originally were to produce the Silver Hawks figures, but decided to pass on the project at the last minute. Each figure was packaged with a companion bird and similar to Kenner's Superpowers Collection toy line, had an action feature of some type. The second series of figures is harder to find than the first with Ultrasonic Quicksilver being the most difficult. The Monstar with Laser Lance, Copper Kid with Laser Discs, and the Copper Racer Vehicle were not produced but were shown in the 1988 Kenner toy catalog. It is worth mentioning the Weapon Bird's companions released with most of the action figures, while Tally Hawk appeared in almost all of the episodes in the series, all other weapon birds only appeared in a handful of episodes. From the first series of Silver Hawk's vehicles, the Mirage can be tough to come across complete with its missiles. The second series vehicles, Sprint Hawk and Skyrunner are also tough to come across, especially complete with their missiles. Several other pieces of Silverhawks merchandise were released in the 1980s, including a board game, puzzles, bedsheets, and a plastic pencil pouch with the main characters on one side. Also, Marvel Comics' kid-friendly imprint Star Comics released a seven-issue series. Writers included Steve Perry, who also wrote for the animated series. There are some minor Silverhawk figure variations. The figures made in Argentina by Antex have significant paint variations from the Kenner counterparts. Some of them are bizarre in fact. For example the Copper Kid figure from Argentina has a totally grey face instead of the blue and white. Also Quicksilver figure has some differences like the unpainted Tallyhawk and the red symbol on his chest. Totally unlike the Kenner version. Finally Silverhawks Mirage made in Argentina has clear windshields, instead of blue like the Kenner one. In the case of carded figures there are two versions of each figure for the first series figures only. First release figures have the blue-purple triangle in the right lower corner with the figure descriptions in yellow type. The second release figures just have white type in the lower corner and no bluish shape, just plain type. 
also figures were released in France and have generic green starfields on black background cards with a huge silver hawks logo. Well my friends that is all I have for you this time. I hope you liked this review of the silver hawks. I love this toys and they look amazing on display. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, please be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching and I will see you in our next video. Goodbye.